All right, let's uh, get started. All right, so all my for on my uh, single player world, which I'm deleting the realm for it. Um, it's just gonna be my single player world. I was just trying to get it up and going a little bit first, but I'm still gonna be inviting my friends and shit to like four, because I only whitelist like four people to be able to play on it, so it just doesn't really make sense to keep it around. But I'm still gonna be inviting uh, the people that I really trust while I'm on here playing, if they want to hop on and play if they want. But that's completely up to them. I won't be on here nearly as much as uh, the server, but I will be spending a decent amount of time on here, at least a couple hours a week. I'm trying to fix up I was trying to fix up my original base I had on here from 2015. Uh, some pillagers came by while well, I was in the process of fixing it up because I wanted to show it off on video. But the pillagers came by and I wanted to clean it up. And I, I did pretty much clean it up. You ate your pet squirrel. That's pretty weird. But I pretty much did clean it up. So I guess good enough. But now I'm getting raided. And I'm hoping the walls I put up five years ago can hold up against 2019-2020 attacking updates. But <clears throat> I'm not sure. I'll find out though. I started an expansion over here too. I wasn't going to show this place off so that was done. But then pledge raid started and I thought, hey, let's just show it now while we're getting raided. Y'all beat the raid at the same time. So I left the game as soon as it started. And this is what I've just been up to. So after this um, part is cleared out, I'm either going to make a doorway entrance, but it's so narrow, which I did that on purpose. Because what I figured I would do is just break down this wall entirely and just expand it out. But I need this to be complete and lit up first. Because villagers are allowed to free roam over here, and then think, things can get in it. <coughs> uh, thanks, Flame. This is my uh, oldest world. It's turned into my single player now on the Bedrock Edition. So, when I'm on my Xbox One, they want to play my single player world, I'll play this. I also have another single player world that's newer. That I've uh, been working on, on the just the Xbox One edition version of the game. Some point or another, I'll uh, stream that, but I want to do some more shit on there before I start showing it off. This one, I'll do a lot of off-camera work, but occasionally I'll put a video up on it, and there'll be a decent amount of streams on here. So I just need to flatten this out a little bit, put some torches down, and we'll call this good for now. Like I said, this wall right here is going to be non-existent, so I need to put some torches up right along here. Yeah, I want to break it down. It's not unlit on the other side, because there's a bunch of torches on that wall. Be a nice straight line, too, this way, so... I'm just going to put them as I see it's needed. Alright, I'm gonna need a lot more cobble, so I might have to go over to, uh, my newer base that was built in, like, 2017, and go to my quarry. I haven't been down that pathway in ages, I need to go down there. What's that over there? I haven't seen that in ages, I haven't been to that tower in ages. There's so much shit on here I gotta check out. Like, this is shit I haven't checked out in literal years. 
I do not remember everything about this world, that's for damn sure. Fuck, if I can use these and not break them and combine them once it's all over, I can actually have a good ass crossbow. I'm not typically into crossbows, but they're too new to me still. That's what's wrong with them. Let's say I've been in the game a really good minute is when you'll see me playing with them more. Let's go uh, clear out my inventory a little bit before I kill this guy. Oh, he's right over there. Don't think he can get in though. Combine all the shitty ones together. Let those build up. If I can combine all the shitty ones together and then just combine the good enchanted ones, I'll be sh for sure to have a one in full health by the time I'm upgrading it. I'm not sure if you can put mining on it or not, or infinity, but if I get either of those, it might just be something I use a lot. Now I gotta find out where this dude went. And this is the reason that I need to expand the walls all around three blocks, but I kinda want to get the max radius I want this place to be done first. Before I make it three blocks, then I gotta take down three blocks every time I want to expand it. So I'm gonna do one more expansion project in the direction on a one by yeah, like a zero a level zero map. I'm gonna do one expansion project. It's, it's basically gonna fill up the level zero map I have. I'll show you the level zero map in a minute. But I'm gonna do one expansion project with one walls going around the border, which won't be that big of a project, honestly. Um, I believe it goes right over here, just past this river. So it wouldn't be huge, huge. Do one good expansion project, maybe a little bit this way. And then I'd upgrade the borders and the outside, making it three thick. And the inside would be hollow, and then there would be a pathway to walk on the, on the sides. And then you could look over. I, I don't remember this either. No, this is something I did or somebody else did because I've always hosted this real multiplayer. This is definitely something somebody else did, but it seems very nice. Very like beta looking look to it. Oh, yeah, this is a beginner fucking place, that's for damn sure. Still cool though. Definitely would still take a little bit of time to put this together. At least like an hour or two. Which I mean isn't shit for your main base, but still, I like it. <laughs> Maybe that'll become uh my guest house for <clears throat> when I have new friends in the world that first join. Should anybody wa watching ever wants to join this world, I mean, I would have to keep you on visitor until I can trust you. It'd be way easier for me to give you prevs if you had a mic. Um, 
but I could totally let some people in. Like one person at a time. Let them do their own thing, and if they get trusted, they can stay, and another person can be in. That's how I'm gonna do it. There can be one newbie in at a time, but the rest all have to be very trusted. Okay, these guys are freaking out. That's why I need to find this dude. needs to make his calling noise again, that's what he needs to do. It's definitely that way. I just heard him. Is he in the fucking village or something? Oh shit. Switch from red to my guy. That is a pain to It should be okay. As soon as I get a total on dying from these guys, I'm gonna kill them. Bunch of emeralds. <laughs> Actually needed saddles, so that's very useful. That's a food, holy shit. Oh, no expansion spaces, I need to make a cure for him. Literally a one-man army here. The villagers do not help me at all. That, that's the part that pissed me off about the pillager update is they didn't make it so like, I don't know, they should have like made like another type of villager that can spawn in like guard villagers that are armored up, carry weapons and attack zombies and shit. Make it so like one in ten villagers spawn in like that or something. Yeah, there's like a one in ten chance I'm spawning in. That way I can have some assistance in this shit. Put all my good shit in this chest. And then all the not good shit is gonna be in the other little house. Because this is the oldest building on the map, I think I should make a little museum here too. After I do the expansions, I'll make a small museum. 
that will be dedicated to old shit on here. And even shit that happens today, that way if I come back another five years later and I'm still playing on here, that shit will be cool. And then the shit that's five years ago from now will be really cool. I mean, I got this fucking weird building too that I can do something with. I thought about just tearing it down, but it's like, it's got a three block high ceiling. It's wide enough to actually do something with. Yeah, it could turn into a uh, small little house or something. Oh no. Maybe I could put an automatic sugarcane farm in here. That'd be cool. It might be like a one block wide like walkway through here until I expand it. But Break the ceiling off. Replace this floor. Automatic sugar cane farm right here. I think that'd look really good. Yo, what are you guys all doing? Fucking hovering around my house. If I'm correct, they can still be shot by the pillagers with crossbows, but other than that, these guys should be completely safe in here. I think it's just that witch left. Next crossbow I get, I'm actually going to start using. make like the outside like a fucking battlefield set everything up to advantages for me advantages for you know things with actual brains so people if anybody's are playing it with me and pillager raid comes in we have like a an actual battlefield that we can use that'd be pretty neat i think have chest and shit set up with bows and crossbows and iron armor and stuff because players don't have shit in there yet. We get a raid. Throw it on real quick. I have signs saying only use in case of pillager raid. But if that happens and they can just help themselves to what's in it. Might even have a few god apples in there for them if needed. A couple instant health potions. Food. Totems of undying. Turn this place into a grinder for this shit. And if I'm the one doing the raid, it'll be all profit because I won't have to use any of those kits. I'll show you why this guy says keeper. I'll buy a bow from him. Fuck it. Alright, plan on putting all my animal shit in here for now. This is temporary. I'm used to the bow, that's the difference, so. I would not mind upgrading a crossbow. That was close. Yeah, plus the walls are three thick and a creeper blows up just like that. He doesn't get immediately into the place. I got so lucky if this owning gotta repair it. Put a torch there. Decreased chances of having again. <laughs> I 
been doing this raid for 20 minutes now. Shit, he's doing his fucking weird voodoo shit. like, fuck this place, but it's getting fucking raided. I don't want to be your horse. Well, he stays there. Looks like I could actually, uh, saddle him up real quick and have at least one horse in me. If I could just get one horse in the horse stable, <coughs> I'd be set. Totally could have just let that go off. It probably would have been fine. It's fast as shit, too. What the fuck? And you can do two block jumps. I used to have horses in there, but once I started inviting all sorts of people in here, I think it was on the Xbox One version, my base, and at that point, moved over to the Xbox One, I went and made a new base, because the world expansion, so I made, made a new base, and that's basically all I focused on, then this place just over time kind of got taken, everything that was worth anything got taken early on from new players.
Sweet. Okay, that's the OG horse stable that you guys just saw. Oh shit, we're done. God damn, that took long enough. Skeleton is the only one with a bow. I do like how they have made this game harder, though. They've made it harder in a very good way. It's very. It makes survival mode very much a challenge. Especially if you want to get really far. depending on so much shit you want to do but yeah if you want to try to just play simple you can still play pretty simply and not have too hard of a game sweet I've got three horses now got all these villagers and shit I just need to get my chancing table back this place will start to come back to life. I think I'd put the nether portal back in the basement too. All the enchanted shit in here. Still got another saddle too. Damn, villager to shit ton with my villagers. This place was uh, quite literally brought back to life. No way. Depending on his stats, I might just ditch him. He's only got 8 hearts. Decent speed. Can he jump 3 blocks? Holy shit. We're keeping him. Breed this guy with other villagers? Holy shit. Take my really prized horses too after I start breeding them. And making special pens for them. They'll have like fucking diamond gold pens and shit. Their pens will be crazy as cool. And then the, the prize villagers are gonna have their trading boxes decorated up for sure. If I get a villager that gives me mending, he's getting hooked up. I didn't build him a little room in the place. A little like two by two room, which would be the biggest uh, 
trading slot there is. There's a one block fucking spot standing. Give him a bed, craft table, furnace. No open window for me to trade with. Window to the outside. He'll get hooked up. Put him put a dropper in there so I can give him bread and shit. <laughs> Before I do that for like my top three most valuable villagers, all their trades are discounted right now though. If I can just get a fishing rod, I can really start trading with these guys. Another thing I'd put in here, I put a little pond in here. Just enough for me to go fishing at, nothing more. Or I could just put a semi uh, auto fisher. But I'm gonna get trapped with these villagers, level these guys up. It's, n it's gonna be boring. But next time you see this place, it'll be bigger and better. So, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.